You're about to meet a woman who is truly one of a kind. That's because a near deadly accident turned her otherwise ordinary mind into an extraordinary one. ABC's Neil Karlinski finds out what it's like to have all your senses scrambled in a newly superhuman brain. Probabilities and what are disabilities? Lee Ursig is unlike anyone you will probably ever meet, so buckle up for a ride like none other into the mind of an accidental genius. Yeah, but two, you have a linear line with what is, and some theories. She's also an artist. What is the deepest obscure of accounts? And a poet. Within my memories, I walk to the fourth of my mind. Still, I see nothing. And the way she sees the world is unlike anything you can imagine. And it all happened because of an accident, making her the only known woman in the world with something called acquired savant syndrome, described as vastly enhanced cognitive ability in areas such as art and math. And acquired savant syndrome is when you're not born with it, like Lee. We're at Split Rock Ranch. It was on this ranch in northwestern Colorado, a place she no longer remembers, where her life changed forever. In 2009, Lee, the ranch manager, who could care less about mathematical formulas, was feeding chickens. So where was it again? Down there. Right. She fell into the ravine, suffering catastrophic spine and brain injuries. Well, I don't know what type of fall it was, but it must have been pretty dramatic. <laughs> Do you remember being here at no, all? No, not really. I just, re you know, I remember them saying, Lee, keep breathing. You do remember that? I, I remember it was a sheriff, and he said, Lee, keep breathing. Doctors were initially unsure she'd ever walk again. But after treating her initial brain trauma, she seemed to be making a full recovery, and no one noticed that it was actually her brain that suffered the most severe damage, but in a very unique way. Lee had no memory of her old life when she was a multi-sport athlete who loved animals, not math or art. Her childhood, gone. Her mother, a total stranger. Lee relies on her best friend since fifth grade, Amber Anastasio. This was, uh, Rue, you guys are really close. Let's just... To help her understand yeah, who she used to be. Little... And who's Jackie? Jackie is my mother. Are you guys close? I, I don't know. She was initially misdiagnosed with bipolar disorder, in part because she lost the ability to feel emotion, what doctors describe as flat effect. Lee was a total extrovert. She just very confident. I just know that she's different now. It's not a bad different, you know, it's just who she is now. Fly within. In addition to her savant syndrome, she also acquired synesthesia. That's a mixing of senses. Listen to Lee try to explain it on a road trip across Colorado. If I turn on your music, you're seeing colors. If I ask you to look at nature, you said you're hearing or seeing sound. So you hear images and you see sound. Right. Boy, that's hard to, that's hard to fathom. I'm going to turn it up and then I want to know what colors okay. you hear. Ready? Here we okay. go. Black, blue, orange, and then a yellow. Black, blue, orange, and yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Now she has a home filled with mathematical equations and art, her interpretations of how she sees the world. What's running through your mind when you're All dimensions this? of the house. The dimensions of this house? Yes. This is what it represents. Occupancy of a triangle, of a linear line, a circulations. Help me understand that. Okay. I know you see things differently than, than we do. Yes. So, I mean, I see just sort of a, a plain room with a couple of windows. There's some stairs. I mean... Those are the stairs. Stairs are concepts, theories, divine. The birth of strange new talents has left Lee lonely at times and desperate to understand what's happened to her and if what she is seeing in her mind is real. So along with her childhood friend Amber, she made the journey to the University of Miami, where neuroscientist Britt Brogard and her team scanned and rigorously tested her brain. She wants some objective evidence that what she's experiencing is yeah. real. And after the first test, it started to become clear how differently she sees the world. Details are everything. Check this out. Can you see a difference between these two images? Yeah. Lee can do it in a snap. We started to understand why she draws things the way she does. 
If you ask most people to draw a house or a car, they'll start with the outline and then fill in the details like the windows, doors, and wheels. But Lee, she starts with those details, the windows, the doors, the wheels, and then builds out. So that's an example of how she is attending to details before she's attending to the whole. And remember how Lee says she hears colors and sees sounds? The doctor says that's real too. About half of the letters of the alphabet and half of the numbers, he has specific colors associated with them. It's kind of a heavy question, but right. do you think the person you were is the person you were supposed to be, or, or is the person you are now really who you are? I don't know. I, I, I can't uh, remember or I don't remember the last person. But Lee has embraced her new identity and her new view of the world as colors and numbers, a beautiful mind she is just beginning to understand. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Maybell, Colorado.